we need to find out the value of the given trig expression. Let's begin. So here, we're going to rewrite the trig expression. So here we have cosine of angle pi over 65. This is multiplied to cosine of 2 pi over 65. Multiplied to cosine of 4 pi over 65 can be also expressed as 2 squared pi over 65. Multiplied to cosine of 8 pi, so that becomes 2 cubed pi over 65. Multiplied to cosine of 2 raised to the power of 4 pi over 65 multiplied to cosine of 2 raised to the power of 5 times pi divided by 65. The reason why we're writing in this particular fashion because we have a standard formula. We know that, that uh, if we have cosine of angle A multiplied to cosine of angle 2A times cosine of angle 2 squared A times cosine of angle 2 cubed A. This goes all the way up to cosine of 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 times a, then this is given by sine of 2 raised to the power of n times angle a divided by 2 raised to the power of n multiplied to sine of angle a. Now in our case, what we'll do, we will suppose that let uh, a correspond to pi over 65, which means that this is number 1, that uh, expression 1 now is going to become cosine of angle a cosine of angle a multiplied to cosine of 2a times cosine of 2 squared a times cosine of 2 cubed a times cosine of 2 raised to the power of 4a times cosine of 2 raised to the power of 5a. However, we have to be a little bit careful while choosing the value of n here. So, uh, there are total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 cosine functions multiplied to each other. So here n will be equals to 6, not 5. Do not get confused with this number 5 here. So here n corresponds to the total number of functions that are multiplied here. Because we are, uh, I mean the logic behind this is we have 2 raised to the power of 1 times a and this is actually 2 raised to the power of 0. So here we start from 2 raised to the power of 0 to 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. So we have in total of n terms. Fine. So here we have n equals to 6, which means that this particular formula is now going to transform into sine of 2 raised to the power of 6 times angle A divided by 2 raised to the power of 6 times sine of angle A. Fine. So let's simplify this. So we should get sine of 2 raised to the power of 6, so that's 64. So we have sine 64a divided by 64 times sine of angle a. Now what's a? a is pi over 65, which means that our expression is now given by sine 64 pi over 65 divided by 64 times sine pi over 65. However, what we can do here is we can simplify sine 64 pi over 65. What we can do here is we can rewrite 64 pi over 65 as pi minus pi over 65. Now we can use a standard formula that sine of pi minus theta that's given by sine theta, which means that sine pi minus pi over 65 will become equals to sine pi over 65. In other words, we can say that sine 64 pi over 65 is equivalent to sine pi over 65. So we can uh, can factor out the numerator and the denominator, leaving us with 1 over 64. So this is going to be the value of the given trig expression. It amounts to 1 over 64.